Welcome back to the Civic Sci TV News Show. I'm your host, Jake Krause, bringing you the latest this week in the world of civic science. Well, I just got back from Niagara Falls for the eclipse, and it was mostly cloudy, but I caught glimpses here and there of the eclipse. The sky went completely dark so suddenly during totality, and three minutes later, it very quickly became brighter, and that part was pretty cool. However, the true excitement was with the crowd around the falls, and there were many outreach events taking place. At the Visitor Center in New York, NASA had booths alongside Canadian space agencies handing out flyers and other souvenirs to excited visitors. There were also photo booths and astronaut costumes and eclipse cutouts all around for visitors to try out. And of course, seeing Niagara Falls was a blast. If you're in Washington, D.C., be sure to check out the Earth Day Heroes Outreach event on April 20th. It will take place at the National Academies of Sciences on Constitution Avenue from 11 to 3 in the afternoon. There will be five interactive exhibition halls filled with activities like aquarium touch tanks and coral displays to help people learn more about planet Earth. This looks like a fun way to teach kids and their families about climate science and conservation. So see more details at the link in the description below. An interesting op-ed was published last month in the Journal of Science Policy and Governance covering how civic science funding can better support community engagement. While community engagement projects often rely on funders and grants with strict requirements and short timelines, there is a reality on the ground in community engagement that it takes time to build trust and form relationships. The paper argues that funding schemes should take this into account with more flexible funding provided over several years and focus on relationship building as an important outcome. There is a webinar on April 16th on science communication in the age of misinformation. The conversation will focus on why people believe and spread misinformation and what can be done to counteract it. The webinar will feature an expert science correspondent and professor of psychology studying how to combat misinformation. They will share the latest research on misinformation and cover strategies and resources on confronting it. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of the Civic Sci TV Newsroom. We hope to see you next time.